Hello everybody again. I decided I would make a glue uh, bangle bracelet from scratch. What I have here are the tools that I had mentioned before, all uh, made out of silicone. Here's the bracelet that I had made um, a little while ago, told you it was done with uh, gold leaf. I decided this is a bracelet that's a bangle bracelet so it compresses and can get on any wrist large or small. At any rate, I decided I'd like to have a silver one. So I'm going to make a silver one right now. I have the silver powder, which I'm going to use. I've had this powder for a long time. It only costs $3.75 on sale, and it's an Eber Faber Hard, Eber Hard Faber silver powder. All right, so here's my handy dandy silicone egg poacher, which I love to make bracelets with. And I'm going to use my heavier duty glue gun, which I have heating up. And here I go. First I'm going to put some glue in these middle parts. And then I'll go around and connect them. I might just do a little decoration while I'm at it. I think this one here I will make a couple of cross pieces. What you heard was me pushing the glue stick back down in the glue gun. This glue seems to be a little yellower than some of the other glues that I've used, so hopefully it'll be clear, but it really won't matter since I plan to uh, make it uh, silver anyway. So the, clear, the clarity isn't as important. I do have another idea that I will make a little later uh, for one that I might want a clear a clearer glue. I might even leave it plain. But as I said before, you can always paint them in colors that you're interested in. And take very long. It's pretty quick. On my last one now. And that should do it. The trick sometimes, if it's very hot, and this is hot glue as opposed to cold glue, I could have lowered the temperature and gone for the cooler glue, low temp glue, but I didn't in this case. And maybe that's why the glue is a little more yellow. But at any rate, the one thing you have to do 
is just while it's still hot, maybe uh, tilt it back and forth so that the globs, which actually will be decorative elements, will not fall off the form. And uh, then just let it cool and see what happens. So there's a lot of hot glue in there, and I do believe that some of it's whiter than the other, so I don't know what to what account that for, but it seems to be a little yellower here. And so I just have to let that cool. I promised I would show some other pieces of jewelry, so if you just hold on, I will dig a few out while we're waiting for that to cool. Here are some others that I've made. Um, this one particularly is done with uh, hot glue. And um, I painted a base coat, I think, it's been a while now, of black. And got it in, oh, oh no, first thing I did is I just did the glue on the glass, much as I mentioned before, like this. And when it was ready to go, um, I then put it, my heat gun on it and stamped, use a rubber stamp. I had a rubber stamp with that kind of impression, and I had a rubber stamp with a leaf impression, and I had one with writing, French writing. So I impressed that into the warmed up glue after I had formed it on the glass. Uh, then I proceeded to paint it. I think I might have painted it several different colors and I also have some waxes that I use they're called Gilder's paste uh, so I used a combination of the acrylic paints and the Gilder's paste I think the gold is the Gilder Gilder's paste anyway I put black in the crevices so it shows up the highlights of the of the um, stamp that I impressed help holding the stamp against the warmed up glue enabled me to get these features. And then I painted it in colors that I like. Um, this one's particularly pretty. Um, this one needs another coat. It's a very fine piece, but it needs another coat of uh, gold. I didn't try to use, I, I think I like the either gold leaf a little bit better, and certainly the gold, um, the gold powders a little bit brighter. And I've just discovered those recently. But up until then, I was using gold paint. And you can get a different gold finish. Um, but as you can see, you can create some interesting bracelets with very interesting um, shapes and detail. And they really do look like metal bracelets when you have them on. I think I might have used gold spray paint for this one. I put it in a box and just sprayed it. Here's one that uh, I did and has not been decorated yet. So as you can see, it's just clear glue. Um, but it will make a pretty bracelet when I decide what color I want it. And of course, I love gold, so here's a few more gold ones. But I think I like the brighter gold on these. I did one in silver. And it's not going to be as shiny as silver. It's not as shiny as silver as, as what I'm going to, I think I'm going to get with the silver powder. But it's a very pretty bracelet. Here's one that's going to be very pretty when it's colored. Um, but you can see they're quite comfortable to wear. And fun. Just plain fun. I even tried making a necklace. Um and put a zigzaggy glue uh, piece around the edge so that it could uh, hang. But I think I was doing a crown, actually. This one wasn't a necklace, but it could be worn as such. Because the zigzag, I, I found if you put the zigzag, it gets stretchy. So, you know, I could have made this one a lot smaller and it would have st still fit over the head. But it actually is... That was an experiment. 
And here's another piece that I haven't added to a chain yet. This will be very, very pretty. It almost, it does look like metal. And it, it just needs, I'm, I have some jewelry chains that I'm going to attach this to. As this will be a, a necklace, a neck piece as well, and I will attach a chain to that. Here's one in a silvery blue paint. And uh, it's pretty. Another neck piece that will be attached to a chain. And here's kind of an interesting one. Uh, I did see someone on the internet that was making things that looked like all these beads. It's a bit tedious. And I left the strings on there because I think they add a little bit to the piece, but it's quite a pretty bracelet. I have a pair of earrings, and I do use the earrings quite a bit. I just did this in the same way. These are just dots that have been connected, globs of small globs. But I do think that the uh, fine threads that have got painted gold make it look like it was a uh, maybe crocheted bracelet or something to that effect. But you can see. And this is just done on that same glass. I think this part here needs a little bit of reinforcing. Um, many, many more. I think this is a pretty one. Kind of Grecian looking as are these, which have not yet been uh, painted. You can see. And this one here looks like a, let's see, Hermes chain. That's kind of what I was going for. And then these pieces can be jewelry pieces. At any rate, I think maybe that's enough of the show and tell right now. Put these to the side. And um, see if this is ready to come off the mold. And I think it is. Feels relatively cool. So I think I got it a little bit too far over, but no, no, here it comes. I do like the shape of these. I just discovered this mold uh, uh, late, but I do like the way they undulate uh, scalloped as opposed to the perfectly round ones. So there you go, see? And what I'll do now is trim it up a bit. Maybe I'll trim this piece off and trim these pieces off. And this one here is sticking out, so trim that off. A couple of threads, which I won't leave on in this case. Trim on off the edges. But it will really come to life with the powder, which I'm going to put on next. Um, I think I'm going to have to do this in two videos because I really, really, really want to go down and get a, to the garage and get a mask before I do the powder. I think that's uh, that protection is necessary. That powder is very fly away, and the lights make the powder uh, float around a little bit, move around a little too much. So I'm going to have to either edit the video and add the second piece to it, or just do this in two parts, which would, might be easier. Editing is not my strong suit. At any rate, there's the finished uh, bracelet, and I'm going to shut this off and start another one, come back when I have the mask.